For some reason, a lot of people turn up at an interview and they think, right, I'm gonna sit there and answer questions and then the company will decide whether they want to hire me. No, 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 no. That's not the way it goes. They will make a decision on you, not only based on the answer that you have to their questions, but the quality of the questions that you ask, the insightfulness that you have, and the way that you go through the process of doing the interview. So you have to have some cracking questions already prepared to take to the interview. Now, first rule, those questions must be relevant to the company and the job, not to you, okay? Let me explain that, and it's really simple. Questions that are relevant to you are things like, how much am I gonna get paid? What are my hours? What are the benefits that come with this job? So it's a, a what's in it for me question. Questions that are relevant to the job and to the company, I'm gonna give you about half a dozen or so of those now. And there is an attachment obviously that comes with this video so that you can use them. But um, these are the generic questions which will give you a really good idea about what job you're going for. And as well, it'll give the client some insight because it'll, to you, because once you get the answers, then you can find the common ground and you can match what they're looking for with what you've got. So one of the first questions, it's a simple one. Describe a standard week in the life of this position. What do you expect the person to do? And they'll go through that. And that'll give you some understanding of what that, what that role is all about. One of the great questions you can ask is, listen, Think about the best person that you've ever had doing this role. What was their background? What was their skill set? And what did they do that made them the best? That's a really good question. If you want to kind of get an understanding of what it's going to be like once you're on boarded and what you've got to do, ask them what specific goals they have that they want you to achieve within the first six months and write those things down because that'll make it very clear for you what you're getting yourself into in the first six months when you're onboarding yourself. You can also ask about what are the KPIs? What are the key performance indicators that the company operates to? Once again, find out what they want and then find the common ground and make sure that you can tell them that you can do that. That's important as well. Get an understanding of who you're gonna have communications with. And that's from both sides. Who will you be working with on an internal basis? Who will be within, what team will you be in? And who will you be working with on an external basis? Will it be customers? Will it be suppliers? Will it be subcontractors? So that you get an understanding of that. Here's an interesting question that you should ask because it'll give you some insight. And that is this, why is the position vacant? You're gonna get some interesting answers to that. The person's not doing the job, the person got uh, fired, the person left because they didn't like the job. And you know, once again, you don't get bad people, you just get bad circumstances. And there's lots of reasons why people move on or move up or move out. But it's a really good question to ask. Two questions that you could finish off with. What is the, what is the biggest challenge that people face in the first three months of joining your company. So it's not so much about you or the role, it's the biggest challenge that people face joining your company in the first three months. And the last question you can ask them is, if they were to provide you with some referees so that you could do further re research, which employees or which customers would they give to you so that you could find out more? So these are great interview questions, and this will allow you to really dig down deep underneath that position description and figure out if this is a job you really want.